guys welcome back to my channel I have some surprising news so after the long-awaited months of being convinced that pretty was pregnant she ended up not being pregnant got her x-rayed to see if we could see any skeletons in there babies and she wasn't so she had a false pregnancy which is extremely extremely rare in the goat world um, it's more common in cattle but yeah so i would had plans to get her looted if anybody knows what that is um it's an injection called lutalase and it helps regulate the goat and get rid of whatever they're retaining well she was supposed to get looted this week and i ended up noticing today that she had some discharge on her bottom so I decided that I was like, you know what? Let me go see if she's in heat. And I did the same thing with this girl because she is well. I purchased a pulled pregnant goat. I think she's not pregnant. I thought she was in heat today. So I got them both bred. Pretty took right away. She definitely was in heat. She took four times. And um, so hopefully she is definitely pregnant this time. Now, as for this girl, she was so quiet. She wasn't showing a lot of signs. The buck was very confused, but he got a smell as if she was pregnant. So he ended up breeding her twice. The first time she didn't look like she took. The second time she, he, he got her and she squatted. She made the, this little squat dance they do when they're pregnant. So both girls might be pregnant and they could possibly be due March 11th. This girl here, my little one, Sakura, her name's Sakura, um, she will uh, have plans to be bred in February. That's when she should be of age. She's not quite, I don't believe she's quite 40 pounds and I don't want to do it too early. So I'm going to shoot for February. She'll be due in july if we breed her in february so we shall see this is kind of exciting but disappointing at the same time because if she did take this time around um canela then she wasn't pregnant to begin with and i purchased her under the impression that she was pregnant but i guess you know until you have a hundred percent accuracy of them being pregnant you'll never know we'll see <laughs> um thank you guys so much for watching my channel but i'll put some clips up of how they've been acting this week how they've been adjusting to each other and hopefully in 30 days so around november 20th we'll get a positive read on both of the goats if not maybe one so these are the pretty girls this is sakura hi sakura She's my only registered one. I planned to sell her and her babies and maybe get another registered goat. And pretty, she might be our forever unregistered goat. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. But hopefully she's pregnant. She has some um, buck goo on her leg. Disgusting. Gross. And she took twice canela i named her canela it's maltese for chocolate and maltese that's how they say chocolate canela with a k so pretty sakura she's tired finally she wanted to stay so bad with that buck ain't that right pretty she's like yeah i wanted to stay with my boyfriend and then she wasn't acting as interested, um, so she could still be pregnant. I mean, she could very well be pregnant, and maybe he just felt interested in it because he smelled her. So maybe he just took it as she was in heat too, but I'm pretty sure she's in heat. And I, I have a funny feeling that they're both going to get pregnant. This video was taken a couple of days after we got them. She was, you know, a little loud, a little bit excited. Um, Pretty was very, like, 
dominant she was definitely expressing herself and um i've never seen her like that really she's very quiet but usually so um i think she was just getting back into her regular hormones and then to top it off she was also um just getting back in uh just wanting to be very dominant this was when i started putting them together in the pen at night they sleep in a pen because um it's safer and pretty was like doing these grunts like uh she was sounding oh she got scared because she heard the tarp move but she was sounding like a um buck she was making buck noises she was um trying to just like stand up for the white goat sakura over here in the back because the brown one was definitely like really mean to her so pretty was just not having it she was like this is my girl i'm gonna defend her <laughs> She was just having it at all. It was the craziest thing ever. I mean, it was, like, super cute seeing her defend her. Um, but I've never seen her like that. I want to say aggressive, but, yeah, that wild and that, like, um, I don't know. I don't want to say mean because it, it wasn't too bad. Like, it could have been much worse. But, yeah, I'm just not used to seeing her like that. <laughs> Look at her. Her hair, her hair is up. She's just, like, trying to prove a point. She's the boss but um fingers crossed they're both bred because uh, this has been such a journey it's so hot outside so i came inside and oh my gosh so this is the plan um hopefully they're bred i will check back and i will keep you guys posted so basically what happened with pretty is she had a false pregnancy not common in goats but they were expecting her i was expecting her so when they have a false pregnancy they can um have this thing called a cloud burst it can be like almost like a filled fluid inside of their uterus um really triggering their hormones and their body convincing them that they're pregnant and they're really not so um she pretty much had that and then hopefully um i was just hoping that she didn't go the full five months which she did um and that's what kind of made me feel weird about it i didn't really i wasn't familiar with false pregnancies or anything like that so um it, it was a journey if i would have known she was in a false pregnancy i definitely would have looted her a long time ago so she could have regulated because um when they have false pregnancies they have a higher chance of having um uterine infections and stuff like that because of the fluid in their um inside of their uterus and because of the high progesterone that they're producing with no fetus growing so it actually does bad stuff to their body well it all worked out because i didn't have to loot her loot is a really strong um you know hormone injection too so it's like a lose-lose situation either way it's not something you want to do all the time um it ended up working out um i caught her in heat she got bred so she'll definitely i feel like she's definitely gonna get pregnant as for canela until i get those results saying negative she might not have gotten bred she might very well be pregnant but she was showing heat signs so i highly doubt she was pregnant to begin with um they just couldn't catch her in heat they thought maybe she was pregnant they they were confused you know she was showing kind of similar signs to being pregnant so they figured she was they sold her um saying she was but i'm starting to think she wasn't because she definitely took one of the um when he mounted her he mounted her twice and then the second mount he definitely she did her little squat she was showing signs that she took so march 11th mark the calendars i will be keeping you posted all the way through and hoping that i get some babies because this has been such a journey this has been so much craziness i mean i'm glad she wasn't pregnant the first time pretty because it wasn't the way i wanted it to be so i'm glad I, this time i had control over it i know the date i know when to expect them i don't have to come in every single day and be like is she giving birth is she you know i have 
a better idea of when to expect babies so fingers crossed all works out thank you guys so much for staying posted and um following me and my channel subscribing um and being interested um i'm learning and i will give you as much information as i can about all of this because i am still new to goats um hopefully i'll get in a goat show soon with my registered doe um because i would love to make some nice lines for people milking lines while also having some family pets for people so i think that would be so much fun i use the goats for milk um for dairy so it does benefit us and i hope that i can produce some nice lines for other families to benefit from so keep me posted if you have any questions go ahead and just subscribe to my channel enjoy watching and thank you so much for being a part of this journey with me and so many more to come thank you guys i really appreciate it i will see you guys later